Hey guys, YouTuber 100 here. Okay, and now here I am with another Valentine's Day related video. And for this video, this is going to be about a subject regarding Disney. Because, uh, of course, like, throughout the many years of, like, Disney films, there have been, like, just many, many, like, uh, couples in film. So, yeah, and of course, like, we, uh, there have been just some, like, really great couples in Disney films. And so... You know, what this list, what this video is going to be for is, this is going to be a countdown um, of my picks for the top 10 best Disney couples. Now, this, there is actually, like, kind of going to be a little bit of a twist to this, because when I was coming up with this list, I was kind of thinking, like, did I really want to, like, just stick to, like, like all animated couples? Do I want to do live action? <laughs> and because, I mean... Yeah, because I just really didn't know whether or not I wanted to, like, make this, like, a, a like, focus on anime couples or include live-action couples. Because, I mean, because there have been, like, couples in both um, animated and live-action Disney films. So, I really didn't know, like, really how I wanted to, um, um like, uh, organize this list. And it's because, I mean... Yeah, I really follow, like, the anime couples more than I do live action, but at the same time, I was thinking, like, there have been some, like, really good live action Disney couples, so I really thought that it would kind of, like, be a, um, missed opportunity to really not talk about the live action couples. So, yeah, what I decided to do for this is, this is, like, technically going to be a top five countdown, because, yeah, this is going to be a mix of, like, the top 10 best uh, Disney couples, this is going to be live action animated, and, it, and this is going to be like a top 5 list for each um uh, animated and live action couples, so I'm going to be doing this in kind of like a similar fashion that like Watch Mojo does for some of their countdown videos, because yeah, they've done like countdown videos of like top 10 best and top 10 worst, where they count down like the 5 best and 5 worst of like a certain subject, whether it's like games or whatever it may be. And so, yeah, and so this is, like, the style I'm going to do it. I'm going to be, like, alternating between live action and animated couples in this, uh, list. So, so, um, yeah, so that's how this list is going to be organized, where it's going to be, like, top five, five best animated couples and top five best live action couples. couples. And, yeah, I'll be alternating between live action and animated in this list. So, yeah. So... Yeah, so that's how this is going to be. This is going to be you know, for basically top five best anime Disney couples and top five best live action Disney couples. Yeah, so like I said, I don't really like um follow the live action couples really much because yeah, I don't yeah because I really don't care much for like a lot of the live action Disney couples in films. But yeah, there have been some like good ones and yeah, and particularly in this list for my picks for the top five best live action couples, I really do feel like this will be interesting because the ones that I really do have in um have on this list for the live action couples really are like couples that I really don't think a lot of people really would put on their list for like the best live action couples because yeah, I saw like the Miss Mojo video Oh, like where they were counting down the top ten and best live action Disney couples, couples, and yeah, the ones that I have in my list really are not really like the ones that really were in that list. So it, they are going to be like kind of like different uh, couples that I don't really think a lot of people will put on this list. But yeah, anyway, I sorry, right, let me not keep you guys in suspense. So yeah, let me just get started. So this is going to be my list for my picks for the top ten best Disney couples in both um live action and animated. All right, so let me just get started. All right, so starting off the list, is at number five for live action is Giselle and Robert from Enchanted. So, so yeah, I haven't really watched Enchanted in quite a long time. I mean, yeah, I remember I did see the movie back when it was released in theater, and I probably have only seen it like a couple of times since then. So, yeah, this isn't really a movie that I really have watched regularly, but yeah, I do remember, like, Giselle and Robert were like a really good couple in um, Enchanted. Yeah, I just found um, their um, connection to really be real funny, because, of course, um, Giselle this was from, like, the fairy tale animated uh, kingdom, and then she, like, got transported to, like, the real world. Well, then, yeah, she did, uh, come across Robert, and, yeah, of course, like, because, like, she's, like, from a fairy tale land, and Robert's from the, the real, 
the world, like, uh, they just really have, like, similar minds, like, whenever, like, Robert is, like, saying something to her, like, uh, uh, Giselle is, like, really, um, just acting, how, like, Disney princesses, and just, like, how people in, like, kingdoms do, where, like, she's, like, uh, like, I remember there was a part where he asks if he wants, if, like, she wants him to make a call for him, and she's like, I don't think they'd hear you from here, and yeah, there's also that scene where she's, like, singing in the park or, and stuff, and he's, like, just trying to get her to stop, and yeah, and, the, yeah, and there's also, like, some wings to the audience for, like, some other Disney films, like, there's that scene where she, like, has a bunch of, like, animals cleaning up the house and stuff, so... Oh, yeah, so they are pretty funny, and plus, yeah, and they do, like, make a really good twist with them in the film, where, of course, like, in the film, uh, Giselle was, like, um, um, like, she was, like, with, them um, that, that, um, Edward Prince in their kingdom, um, and it seems like, like, they are really in love, but then, of course, like, towards the end of the film, you know, where, like, uh, she gets poisoned when she took a bite from the poison apple, apple, she has to be kissed by, by who she really loves to be saved, and at first Edward kisses her, but of course it doesn't work, and then, yeah, when Robert kissed her, that worked, and so it showed that uh, Giselle really did love Robert and not Edward, so, yeah, I really did like the twist that they had with it on that, and so it showed that she really did love Robert and not Edward like her, she was she was really intended to do, so, yeah, so that's what, something I really do like about them, and yeah, they just have some really funny moments, and they really are, like, a charming couple, and I just really love, like, the contrasting, um, personalities that they have, have with, like, Giselle coming from, like, the fairy tale kingdom, and Robert being in the real world, so, yeah, so I really do like that about them, so, yeah, yeah, so they really are, like, a really good couple, and I really do enjoy watching them together, so, yeah, all right, so the number five live-action couple is, uh, Giselle and Robert from Enchanted. All right, at number five for animated is Simba and Nala from The Lion King. So, yeah, of course, like, with, um, Simba and Nala, I mean, they are, look, of course, like, two, one of the most popular anime Disney couples, yeah, yeah, for, like, the animated, uh, parts of, parts of this list, this is really, like, couples that really people do regard as to be some of the best, uh, Disney couples. Well, so, yeah, so the, yeah, so the Lion King, the um, animated portion of this is really are going to be like the more common choices that I think a lot of people really would put a, put as some of the greatest Disney couples ever. So yeah, yeah. Simba and Nala, of course, I mean they are like really a very charming couple. Couple, I mean yeah, they the romance that you between them, I mean you just really do buy into it, and yeah, they just are really good. I mean, can you feel the love tonight? Is just a, a really good song, and I really do love that portion in the movie, and just yeah, seeing them together, it is just like really good, and yeah, it really is like a sweet connection between the two of them. So I really don't think I really need to talk about it too much, seeing how it's pretty much like everybody has already talked about Simba and Nala so much. So yeah, but yeah, they are like a real a sweet couple, and yeah, I really do think that they do belong in the top five, so yeah, so the number five best animated couple is uh, Simba and Nala, all right, at number four is, uh, well, number four for live action are Nick and Elizabeth from the Parent Trap remake, so yeah, I'm sure this will be an interesting choice that some people may be surprised to see on this list. But yeah, I really did enjoy like seeing uh, Nick and Elizabeth as a couple in the Parent Trap remake. I mean, yeah, as far as like in the couple in the original Parent Trap, uh, Mitch and uh, Maggie, I mean, they were a good couple too. But um, I really do think that uh, Nick and Elizabeth do like are like overall better because as um. Yeah, I've seen, like, Nostalgia Critics' uh, Disney Simba reviews for both Parent Trap movies, both the original and the remake, and in his, uh, video for the remake, he did say how, um, it really is practically the same thing as the original, but he did say that, um, the, really the only, like, big advantage that the remake really does have are just the fact that the effects are so much better with, like, Lindsay Lohan as, as both girls. Girls, yeah, but I really do think that this is probably like another advantage that the remake does have over the original because in the original with like the um with a uh, Mitch and uh, Maggie, had you like like um they the relationship between them um with them like splitting up up and stuff like um that's something that I really don't think is like done in a very believable way because of the way they act they just seem like really too mature to really like split up the way that they do who would really like take the like, they both each take one of the girls, 
couples, they just really seem too mature to really do that. With uh, Nick and Elizabeth, they really do actually seem like they would have the immaturity to really do that. And you can really buy, like, like with the way they act with each other when we see them in this film, how um, you can really see, like, why they would split up. And just, like, the stuff that you hear that goes on between them. I'm like, you could really see, like, why they would split up, and even, like, when they are, like, together in this film, like, when they are, like, having dinner together and stuff, when they do get back together, together like, it is so, like, really charming to see. So, yeah. So, I haven't really, like, watched the, the uh, this film in, like, quite a while, so my memories of um, it are, like, kind of shady, so I really can't really say a whole lot about it, but, yeah, I just think that they the connection between them was better written than it was in the original Paranoid Trap. So, yeah, so I think, like, really due to, like, the effects being a lot better and, like, just with um, the connection between the two of them being written better and more believable, I really do think that um, that really does give, like, the remake, like, the like an advantage over the original Parent Trap, and I really would say I do think that the remake is overall the better film. Um, yeah, and I really do, like, enjoy seeing um, Nick and Elizabeth together, so, yeah, alright, so, yeah, so I don't really know what else I can really say about them, so, yeah, so at number four for live action and is Nick and Elizabeth from the Parent Trap remake, alright, at number four for animated is Ariel and Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid. So, yeah, this is another one. I mean, do I even really need to say much about it? I mean, yeah, of course, like, they're a very charming couple. I mean, you really do buy the love they have for each other. And, yeah, it is real funny, like, when Ariel can't talk and talk, like, when they're sitting down to dinner at the table and stuff, like, it really is not done real funny. And, yeah, just the stuff, like, since Ariel can't talk, talk like, the scenes, like, where she can't talk and they're, like, with the two of them, yeah, they are done really, really well. And... And, uh, yeah, yeah, just, uh, what else can I really say? I mean, yeah, that, uh, Kiss the Girl song in the film, I mean, it is just really good. Just, that's how they're on the boat together, and, of course, Ariel can't talk, and Eric's trying to guess her name. And then, yeah, just all these other scenes of the film, just, like, how much, like, they really are in love with each other. Yeah, it is, like, really good, and, yeah, just, they are, like, a really good couple together. So, yeah, so... I just really don't know what else to say. I mean, I don't, like, I'm really not going into much detail for, like, the animated couples on this list, but just there's really not a whole lot I can say that everyone else hasn't really said already. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, really just, I don't know what else to say. Just, yeah, they are, like, a really, really good couple. And, and uh, yeah, I just really do enjoy seeing them together. So, yeah. All right, so number four for animated is uh, Ariel and Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid. All right. At number three for live action are Will and Elizabeth from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. So I'm sure that these two are like probably going to be like a couple that most people really would consider the best live action Disney couple. I do like enjoy seeing them together, especially like seeing how they did like meet when they were kids and you know, just like the romance they really do have with each other. And yeah, the story with them in the first Pirates of the Caribbean, I mean, it was done really well. I mean, they both... Both were really good, good in the film, and yeah, just yeah, the yeah, both like the story with them. It was just like really, really good. Yeah, and yeah, they they probably really didn't need to be brought back for like the second and third film, but yeah, they still were like like I still did like the romance between them in the second and third films, films, and uh, yeah, just. But yeah, I mean, yeah, they were just like really, really charming, and I really he, uh, did like how um Will really was like trying to save Elizabeth when she like was captured aboard the Black Pearl, and yeah, just all the stuff that was going on between them, and then when they reunited, just yeah, they are like a like really, really charming, and I do enjoy watching them together. So, so yeah, just yeah. So this is probably the one that I. For the live action couples, I, I really don't know what, what else I can really say, because, yeah, a lot of people have really talked about Will and Elizabeth and the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. So, yeah, I'm really not sure what else I can really say about them, but, yeah, they are a really good couple, and I do enjoy watching them together, particularly in the first film. But, yeah, I still did like them in the second and third film as well. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah, I just, so I just really don't know what else I can really say. So, yeah, at number three for live action are Will and Elizabeth from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. 
All right, at number three, who animated are Aladdin and Jasmine from Aladdin. So, now this is another one. Just what can you really say about it? I mean, Aladdin and Jasmine really are regarded as one of the best couples in Disney. I mean, I mean, there's just so many memorable moments with them. Just like when they first meet, he like when they have that encounter with the guards. They're after me. They're after you. How they're always thinking the same thing. A whole new world. World. The kiss that they share. I mean, yeah, Jasmine learning the truth, and and then when they do. Oh, and, um, they do realize that they really do love each other, and, yeah, all this stuff with them, I mean, I mean, Aladdin and Jasmine really are, like, one of the most popular couples in Disney history, so, oh, I mean, yeah, so what can you really say, I mean, yeah, I mean, they are just, like, a really, really good couple, I mean, yeah, I mean, just the, oh, so many memorable scenes and moments with them in the film, just, uh, what can you really say? I mean, yeah, I mean, Aladdin and Jasmine really are, like, just, yeah, they are just a great couple, and, and I mean, just, yeah, I mean, just, just, yeah, I mean, when you think of Disney couples, Aladdin and Jasmine are always going to be a couple that really do come to your minds in Disney, so, yeah, so, I just really don't know, I mean, yeah, they are just, like, such a great couple, and I really do, I can understand why people would, like, put the, um, as, would say that they are, like, the greatest couple in Disney. They're not my pick, but, yeah, I can see why people would say that. So, yeah, so, yeah, so I really, just really don't know what else to say. So, yeah, number three animated are Aladdin and Jasmine. All right. At number two live action, then, is Scott and Carol from the Santa Claus 2 and 3. So... Yeah, I really don't really hear people really talking about Scott and Carol when they are talking about Disney couples, because, yeah, they, I do enjoy watching them together, especially, like, in the second film. I really just do like how the relationship really does develop. It's not really, like, like just, like, they immediately mean they fall in love with each other. Of course, like, in the second film, when you first see them, like, um, they really, like, really don't like each other at all. Oh, really? But then, like, as they, like, start to see each other more, they can really see that there's more to the other than they originally thought. And, yeah, and they really do have good chemistry together. I really do enjoy, like, watching the, watching them together. Like, in the, the scene when they're, like, riding this, the horse sled to the uh, school for the faculty party. Already, like, that's just a, a really good scene, and I really do enjoy, well, well, just, like, seeing them, like, interact with each other like that. Huh? At, and, um, yeah, of course, like, when they go to the faculty party, when she questions him about, like, the Christmas presents and stuff, that that's just a real good scene, and when they kiss, yeah. I mean, I guess some stuff about it really doesn't work and isn't really needed, like, when, of course, like, she doesn't believe him when he is Santa Claus, and that, that's probably something that probably could have been removed, but, I mean, yeah, it does get back on track, and, yeah, then... <laughs> And, yeah, I mean, it doesn't, and, yeah, they just are, like, a very, very charming together. I mean, it probably doesn't really make sense for them to get married so quickly like they did. But, I mean, yeah, if you can, like, get past that, I mean, they are still, like, a very charming couple in the second film. And while in the third film, while that film really, like, wasn't really well received, and plus how it really was, like, kind of, like, like, it really was kind of depressing just seeing, like, a lot of people unhappy. I mean, they still did have, like, some good moments. And I'm like, how he was, like, trying to cheer her up when she was going through, like, her pregnancy hormones. hormones. And even, like, when they do, like, make up and apologize after, like, the fight that they got in with each other as well as uh, Carol's parents. And it's like, they still do have, like, some good scenes like that throughout in the third film as well. So, I mean, so, yeah, overall, I just really do like Scott and Carol in the Santa Claus sequels. I mean... I mean, yeah, like I said, I'm, and I really don't really hear people really talking about them when, and people really do like talk about like race Disney colors, but I really do think that they are one of the better ones, and I really do enjoy watching them together. So, yeah, so yeah, I mean, so I just really don't know what else to say. I mean, I just really do like them, and I really do wish that more people really would put them on would talk about them when they are, like, talking about some of the best Disney couples, because I really do think that they are one of the better live-action ones. Of course, like, they're number two on the list, so of course I think that, but, yeah, I really do think that people really should be more open-minded about them like that. So, yeah. All right, so at number two for live-action are Scott and Carol from the Santa Claus 2 and 3. All right.
Alright. And number two animated are Belle and the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. So, yeah. This is another one. Just, yeah, everybody has really just praised the crap out of these two. So, what can I really say? I mean, just, yeah, it it is kind of like in a similar way that, um, as the Scott and Carol's relationship. Because, yeah, when they first meet, of course, like, um, the Beast just takes Belle prisoner and she really just wants nothing to do with him but then over time as she really does like like stay there more and like like really is like takes time to really know the beast like um they really do like form a relationship with each other and they really do fall in love just how a bell was really like treating the beast to really act more humane and yeah and and just, like, you seeing them together with each other, I mean, yeah, there are just, like, so many, like, great moments with them. And, of course, the Beauty and the Beast song in the film, it is just really good. I mean, like I've said before, back when I reviewed Beauty and the Beast, just, yeah, I mean, that shot where it, like, pans out from the chandelier all the way down to the floor, yeah, that's one of my favorite shots in film ever. And just, yeah, I really do love that scene from the movie. And just, yeah, seeing just how much Belle really meant to the Beast, like, and the fight with Gaston when she comes back, it really does motivate him to fight guest on back I can yeah and just as well as like that moment where like it seems beast dies it's just like like it really is a heart-wrenching moment moment when you really do think it's dead because he's dead because yeah just like seeing everything that happened between them seeing it being that he seemed to die it just would have like been, it would have just been devastating yeah yeah, so, yeah, just, like, just such a great romantic connection between the two of them, and, yeah, the great song and the great moments between them, just, yeah, what can you really say about them? I mean, is there any doubt that they are one of the best couples in Disney? So, yeah. All right, so at number two animated is Belle and the Beast. All right. Okay, and number one for live action, this is actually a pretty interesting, going to be a pretty interesting one that I think a lot of people really <laughs> he won't see coming. My pick for the number one best live action Disney couple are George and Ursula from George of the Jungle. <laughs> yeah, so this one is probably going to, was, is really unexpected, but yeah, I just really do love watching George and Ursula together. I mean, yeah, I have like talked to you guys about George of the Jungle before. I mean, I love George of the Jungle and and yeah, it is one of the live action Disney films I really have watched the most. Also, I guess like well, that could be like a reason why I did put them at number one. I am kind of, I guess I am kind of partial to them, but yeah, I just really do enjoy watching George and Ursula together. I like how it, they can have like real silly moments and just also some romantic moments like the dance dance uh, scene in the film with the day in the jungle plan. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, just. And all the moments between them, just like has when George like gets shot by Lyle accidentally, how Ursula actually brings George home with him, and just how much he cares for him, and yeah, all the stuff that goes on between George and Ursula in the movie. I just really do enjoy watching George and Ursula together a lot. Uh, and of course, like when Ursula really does realize that she does love George, when George goes back to the jungle, she goes back there to be with him yeah i mean just you know, all these uh yeah there's just like a bunch of really really great moments with george and ursula in the film and yeah i just really do enjoy watching them s together so much and i really do think that they are the best live action disney couple i mean i know that a lot of people probably aren't really going to think of them but yeah yeah i mean but do yourself a favor and go watch George of the Jungle and just see for yourself just like how good of a connection the two of them really do have with each other. And I really do think that people really should, you should consider really like including them in the best live action Disney couples because I really do think that they are or one. I mean, and I really do feel that they are the best live action Disney couple. I mean, if you're going like for more a more serious type of relationship, they're probably not going to be one for you but yeah but if you can put up with like all like silliness and stuff like the stuff between them in the movie like they are like it is it does really make them like like really enjoyable to watch and i really do enjoy watching them together a lot so yeah so i guess that's all i can really say i mean and if i really continue to talk about them i'll just sound like a broken record so yeah all right so yeah the number one live action to the couple are george and ursula from george of the jungle all right 
And at number one animated, I think this is probably like a pretty obvious choice. Well, maybe not, depending on if you are like really going by film. But yeah, my pick for the number one best anime Disney couple are Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Yeah, so, yeah, of course, like, Disney, I mean, if you're thinking of Disney, I think, like, Mickey and Minnie are definitely going to come to your mind for a Disney couple. Yeah, I mean, of course, they were the original Disney couple, and seeing how, basically, they are, like, the uh, mascot Disney couple, I really do think that is, it is fitting to put them at number one for the best animated uh, Disney couple. I mean, yeah, just, yeah, they've been, like, they've been around ever since, like, the er the 1920s, and, yeah, I mean, yeah, and people still do know them to this day. I mean, yeah, there's just been, like, so many shorts between them. And, yeah, of course, they, they've appeared in film, film as a couple. And just, yeah, all this stuff with them, them as a couple for the last, that's, like, oh, close to 90 years now. I think it's been, like, over 90 years now. So, yeah, I mean, so what can you really say? Just Mickey and Minnie really are just, uh, are just like, a really great couple. Well, I mean, yeah, Walt Disney even actually did voice Mickey and Minnie back when he was still alive. Alive, so, yeah, I mean, they, yeah, just like, with everything that's happened with Mickey and Minnie in the last 90 years, just, just, I mean, is there really any doubt that they are really, um, well, I shouldn't really say that, but just with everything that's happened with them and seeing as how they really are, like, pretty much like the original and the mascot Disney couple, like I already said, I really do think that it is just fitting to really put them at number one. One, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're probably going just for, like, Disney films, they're probably not going to be coming to your mind, but if you just look over Disney couples in general, and roll, I mean, yeah, they are are going to come to your mind, so, yeah, so I really just don't know what else to say, just, yeah, I mean, just with everything that's happened with them, and just, like, how much of a cultural icon uh, they've become, yeah, they just really seem to be, to belong at number one, so, yeah, all right, so, at number one for the animated couples are Mickey and Minnie Mouse, all right, all right, and so there you guys go, those are my picks for the top five animated and live action Disney couples. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this list. This um and comment on my channel, tell me what some of your favorite Disney couples are if I didn't include them on this list. And yeah, tell me some of your favorite Disney couples and who you think the greatest Disney couple is in both animation and live action. Alright. So yeah, so I so this is it for this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy and yeah, up next I am gonna be like making like a another like a review for like a kind of like a series of Valentine's Day specials. So yeah, that's gonna be coming up next, and I may actually make two videos tomorrow. Do one for that, and like make another Valentine's Day related video tomorrow. So yeah, so stay tuned for that coming up tomorrow. All right, but yeah. Anyway, so but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.